We're here. Uh, you know, I might have to go back on what I said about finally seeing your place tonight. There's no pressure. It should feel right. Why are you moving away? I want to give you room to think and decide. Most girls' plan is meet a guy, love, have a baby. But I don't know if I have what it takes for everybody's regular plan. Son, I have some disturbing news. What? I'll wait till you get here. Tell me. Please, it would be nice to get one piece of bad news without someone studying my face to see how I'm taking it. They are going to indict you. George? How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. George, this is my boyfriend, Maddie. Nice to meet you. Who is he? You didn't even say hello. Yeah, I think you ought to check with me before you invite some guy over, so I'm a little too pissed off to just say hello. I think I screwed up. Not from my perspective. Taxi? No, I, I just have to figure out where I'm going. Let me ask you something. How do you know when you're in love? Anyone? I got a way. I figure I'm in love with somebody when I wear a condom with the other girls. Holy crap, I'm in love. What sort of trouble are you in, George? Currently unemployed. I'll soon run out of money, and I'm the target of a federal investigation. You're a real chick magnet, aren't you? <laughs> Son, we are in a rapidly evolving situation. Don't tell me. George. Are you going to make me literally run from bad news? You do not have the luxury of not. On the edge of a to people who make toasts. I just touched your leg. I know. And we're gonna be fine with our hearts in our hands. It's like loaded guns. Sorry, oh, oh, oh. Uh. I wrote something out that I want to say to you. I went nuts when you left. I broke a lamp. Okay, read me the thing. That was the thing. Thank you.